Since late 2019, the world has been in the grip of the coronavirus pandemic. It seems like it's been going on forever, and many are now saying it's the new normal. The world has totally shut down. Bustling megacities are now ghost towns. And many governments have put restrictions on people's lives. Schools have closed down, mass gatherings have been banned, and the economy has frozen. Most worryingly, people can't work and make money for their families. So the world is all asking one question, when will all this end and life go back to normal? Today we'll find out how long it will take for them to make a vaccine. We'll also look at how far away natural immunity is, and try and work out the most accurate date as to when all this will end. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at when will the coronavirus pandemic end. Before we jump into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Right now the cases of coronavirus are going up every single day. As I said, it's been like this since it began in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Since then, the cases have skyrocketed, and we're now at 3 million worldwide. So far, 210,000 have passed away, and nearly 900,000 have recovered from the virus. The cases are still going up by around 100,000 per day. And the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson says that within the next three months, cases will begin to fall. This is around 12 weeks, but even when that does happen, we're far from the end of this. In fact, according to the BBC, it could be years before things go back to normal. According to the World Health Organization, there are three ways out of this pandemic. These three options are vaccinations, enough people developing immunity through infection, creating a herd immunity, or permanently changing our behaviors and the way society works. First, let's look at vaccines. A coronavirus vaccine is 12 to 18 months away. Of course, a vaccine would cause people to be immune to coronavirus, but there are problems with this. Of course, a year to a year and a half is a long time to wait. And it would be disastrous to the economy and lives if we had to lock down for that long. Some may also be skeptical of the vaccines and not take them. Right now, scientists around the world are rushing to make a vaccine. Normally, vaccines are tested on animals before humans, but this has been skipped. That's because the unusual circumstances mean we need to break rules. Just this week in the USA, the first person was given an experimental vaccine. This is not thought to work straight away, but it will give the scientists some more data as to how the vaccine's coming along. Even if a vaccine is made, there's no guarantee it will be a success. It will also require immunization on a global scale. Professor Woolhouse from the University of Edinburgh says simply waiting around for a vaccine is not a strategy. The next idea would be to develop immunity through infection. This is known as herd immunity, and it's been tested in some countries around the world, such as Sweden. If enough people are immune, then a virus can't cause outbreaks. According to BBC News, around 60% of the population needs to be immune before this happens. But of course, this means many people will have to get the virus in the first place. This is something most people won't want to do, and it will cause those who are vulnerable, for example, elderly people to lose their lives. But let's say we did go down the herd or natural immunity route. Even if we did, this would take two years to complete. Of course, it depends on how many people get the virus and then become immune. But the UK's chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Vallance, said putting timelines on things is not possible. This means we don't know exactly how long it would take for everyone to be immune. However, Professor Neil Ferguson from Imperial College London says it could take around two years or more. But even if we did have natural immunity, there are questions about how long this would last. People can catch the same bug multiple times in their lifetime, and other coronaviruses could cause people to have a weak immune response. And finally, let's look at the third option. That is to change our behavior and society forever. Professor Woolhouse says this will keep transmission rates low. But of course, the way we're living right now is not normal and people don't like it. Already right now, people are protesting in America and Germany. They're telling their government to open up the economy and let people do their jobs again. Also, while hospitals are overwhelmed with coronavirus, people from other things are passing away. For example, illnesses like cancer are not being diagnosed. But people are now asking their governments, how long until all of this ends? The UK's chief medical advisor, Chris Whitty, was asked this recently. He said, long term, a vaccine is the best way out. He says, globally, science will come up with solutions. But as we've already laid out, this is 12 to 18 months away. So chances are things won't be getting back to normal anytime soon. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner. When do you think this coronavirus pandemic will end? Will it be within months, years, or longer? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There's some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.